hi guys um, welcome to another awesome video um, so a lot of you have been expressing a lot of panic um, asking me to do question papers um, and which uh, I'm about to do uh, I saw this this uh, question paper quite uh, intriguing because uh, learners in my in my district were writing this paper and it was it was quite a challenging paper uh, but just let's just look at it um, so for this segment we're only going to do algebra and um, just be on a lookout for other videos this was a very nice paper um, I liked it and it, it was very contextual and it, it asked a lot of content questions and it really needed someone who understood uh, mathematics one of my favorite papers so uh, let's just look at the paper here um the paper is set uh, by the Gauteng Department of Education, which is uh, the Johannesburg District, and it's uh, the control test for Term 1, 2023. It was 2 hours, 100 marks. Uh, let's see. And then the nice thing is that learners were answering on the paper. Um, let's just get straight to the question. So here is the first question We are asked to solve for x which is 1.1 and If we look at our question here, we have 5 x to the exponent 3 minus 20 x is equal to 0 and most of us are used to the generic quadratic um, equation but if you look at this the highest power is 3 and we have a common factor which occurs in both um, the coefficients and the variable so the common factor with the coefficients is going to be 5 so 5 is a common factor and with the variables x is the common factor and then over here we'll have x squared and we'll be left with minus 4 is equal to 0. And because of product uh, law, we'll say that 5x is equal to 0 or x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. And over here, we know that we are going to divide both sides by 5 and then x is equal to 0. And over here, what we see here is that there's a perfect square and a perfect square and a minus sign between them. And what we, we do, we open two brackets. And then the square root is going to be plus minus the square root of 4, which is 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Still product law. And then x plus 2 is equal to 0. Or x minus 2 is equal to 0 and then we'll be left with x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 2 so here we have our three marks we'll have the first mark for uh, let's see our first mark will have for each value so that is our marks where our marks are let's go to the next question uh, the next question is x into x uh, 10x minus 2 is equal to negative 6 and if you look at uh, our equation here we have to simplify because we if we simplify we will end up having a quadratic which we will factorize and then uh, find a uh, the values of x so if we distribute our x here we'll have what we'll have 10 x squared minus 2 x and then we take 6 to the other side and then it's going to be 0 and then now we have our equation in standard form and of which now we have our a is equal to 10 uh, our b 
is equal to negative 2 and then our c our c is equal to negative 6 so now we can apply the quadratic equation x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a but we know that it's minus and then our b is negative 2 and it's plus minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times our a is 10 and then our c is negative 6 all over 2 times 10 so now uh, if we type into our calculators from from now on we're no longer substituting we are uh, typing into our calculator the plus value because our calculators don't have plus and minus the plus value and then the minus value so if we do the right thing we'll have x is equal to uh, 0,88 or x is equal to negative 0, 6, 8. So that will be your free marks then. And then where are your free marks? You have for each value, for substitution, and for the standard form. Those are your marks. Let's move on to the next question. Let's move on to the next question. Wow, what a nice question. Um, a very tricky question if you if you don't know your your mathematics correctly. Uh, this would would, would um, rattle you a bit, but it is very it's quite simple. Um, it's, it's basically exponential equations mixed with a bit of grade ten, grade eleven ish. Um, uh, trigonometry so uh, over here we have 25 to the exponent 2 sine x minus 5 to the exponent 4 cos x is equal to 0 where x is an L is between 0 and 90 degrees so we have to solve for x here so what we notice is that we have uh, powers of 5 so what we can do is we can apply the laws of exponents and say that uh, the 25 can be written as 5 to the exponent 2 but it is to the exponent 2 sine x and then if i take a negative 5 to the exponent 4 cos x is going to be positive this side so here it is 4 cos x and then now if i remember i have an exponent inside the bracket and an exponent outside the bracket and i will have to multiply the exponent so i'll have five to the exponent four sine x is equal to five to the exponent four cos x and you remember laws of exponents if the base is are the same we equate the exponent so 4 sine x is equal to 4 cos x so now what we will want to do we would apply our grade 11 knowledge that if we have these two ratios uh, being equal to one another what we will do is divide by 4 cos x both sides 4 cos x and then this would be 4 divided by 4 is 1 and then uh, sine x divided by cos x is tan x which is equal to and then cos 4 cos x divided by itself which is 1 and now what we can do is apply our apply our uh, trigonometry we just press x 
is equal to and then shift tan 1 which is 45 degrees so there you have it yeah it was quite um, an astonishing question um, one we don't we don't see often um, so yeah so you you do get a mark for uh, your answer you do get a mark for the turn ratio um, you do get a mark for simplifying or equating um, the exponents and you get a mark for um, writing 25 as a power of 5. So that's your four marks there. Um, quite simple if you look at it. Uh, now let's move on. To the next question ah here we have we still have um, exponents but here we have roots now um, now one thing that we've learned in grade 11 is that if you have the same set in an equation you let it equal to k so meaning that the expression now will be k plus 42 is equal to 343 3 over k how simple is that and now what you would know is that uh, you can just put this over 1 and then cross multiply so it's going to be k multiplied by k plus 42 is equal to 1 multiplied by 343 and now k squared plus 42k minus 343 is equal to 0 and that's a quadratic which you can factorize and your factors are k minus 7 and k plus 49 is equal to 0. And then k is equal to 7 or k is equal to negative 49. Now remember we've established that our k is what? Our k is 7 root x is equal to 7. Uh, and then also here 7 root x is equal to negative 49 and the natural thing to do is divide by 7 both sides or what you would do is you divide by 7 both sides and square or you'd square uh, immediately but let's just for argument's sake divide by 7 both sides first and then root x is going to be squared and then here divided by 7 it's 1 and we're going to square the 1 so x is equal to 1 this side and then also this side we are going to uh, divide by by 7 both sides and then we have root x is equal to negative 7 and then we square both sides and then x is equal to 49 now you remember we established in earlier grades that if you are going to square both sides most probably one of the answers is wrong and you are going to test it by substituting each answer in your uh, expression so meaning that if x is 1 um this would mean uh, if i substitute one this would be uh, seven root one plus 42 it should be equal to uh, 343 uh, divided by seven root one 
and of which is true but if we substitute 49 uh, it gives us a wrong answer so the one that is not uh, correct is 49 um, so where are our marks in this case we have our mark let me just choose my marker here we have our mark in isolating in selecting uh, the wrong answer we have our mark in 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 in, in both values uh, we have our mark for squaring uh, both sides we have our mark for the values of k both of them we have a mark for uh, the factors and we have a mark for the standard form so that's your six marks the next question which is 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 is, is the nicest one i'm, I'm sure by now uh, you always enjoy your simultaneous equations because that's where you get your mark remember with simultaneous equation if you just uh, make one value the subject of the formula you get a mark immediately when you substitute you get a mark so I'm, I'm hoping that when you see simultaneous equation by this stage you smile so we have two equations equation one and equation two and the easiest to simplify is equation one so what I'll do is this is equation one and then this is equation two. I'm, go I'm going to form an equation three from equation one by taking two to the other side. So now and also take three to the other side and I will have x is equal to negative two y uh, minus three. So my x is negative two y minus three. This would be my equation three and what i'm going to do with equation three i'm going to substitute it wherever there's x in equation two i'm going to put minus two y minus three so now i have an x squared immediately i should know this is what this is minus two y oh i'm so used to x minus two y minus three and it is squared plus y squared plus 2 and then wherever there's x minus 2 y minus 3 multiplied by y is equal to 1 fine I've substituted and I've gained 2 marks 30% um, uh, through now the next thing that I will have to do here is uh, expand so over here I'll have uh, minus 2y minus 3 uh, multiplied by minus 2y minus 3 um, plus y squared and over here what I'll do is that just for the sake of a correct um, distribution I'm gonna put the y in front of the 2 and remember we are multi where whichever way you multiply you're still multiplying so you'll always get the same answer minus 1 so I've already taken the minus 1 to the other side okay so the next thing now is to distribute using FOIL method and what we'll have here is my 6y squared and that is from first term multiplied by first term and this side I'll have my positive 6y and positive 6y because I've multiplied my outer term and outer term uh, inner term and inner term and then last term and last term is plus 9 and then plus y squared plus and then when I've this when I'm distributing now my um, 2y I'll have I'll have a negative because I'm multiplying a negative and a positive 
so here's my negative 4y squared uh, and a negative 6y minus 1 is equal to 0 so fair enough and then I'll have to collect like terms and I've just realized here I made a mistake um, when I was multiplying here uh, the first term so it's going to be negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 4 so now if we add the like terms um, I have 4y squared and it's going to cancel with 4y squared and I hope it's evident for everyone because um, they are additive inverses of each other so I'll be left with a, a y squared y squared and then one of the six y which is positive is going to cancel with the negative one so I'll have I'll be left with a positive six y and then now we'll have nine minus one which is positive 8 is equal to 0 and then my factors here are going to be y plus 2 and y plus 4 is equal to 0 and then now y is equal to uh, negative 2 or y is equal to negative 4 so I have both of my y values and then if I substitute uh, remember we said x is negative 2 y right and our first y value is uh, plus 3 right so now my first y value is negative 2 and negative 2 and negative 2 if I substitute it and if I substitute my negative 2 here and sorry for that I think I'm becoming tired now that is a minus and if I substitute my negative 2 onto the equation that I've claimed that x is equal to I'll have a positive 4 minus 3 which is 1 and still we said that x is negative 2 and then my second y value is negative 4 minus 3 now if I multiply these two values I'll have a positive 8 but positive 8 minus 3 is positive 5 so I have my y my x values now so where are our marks um, so when you're doing simultaneous equations uh, your first your first mark remember what I said is in your equation 3 the second mark is in your substitution uh, third mark is your standard form your factors both values of y and both values of x and that is your free six marks so I like the topic of algebra because it ensures that uh, we really get the maximum marks possible um, through these free marks from uh, your quadratic equations your exponents and simultaneous equation and then the last question which is everyone's nightmare here's something for two marks uh, we are given that uh, k to the exponent of f of x is equal to 3 and we are also given that k to the exponent g of x is equal to 4. We are also given that k to the exponent 2 over h of x is equal to 12. And we need to prove this. And now, if you notice, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So we, we, we write the expression or the equation. 3 times 4 is equal to 12 but now remember we said that k to the uh, to the exponent f of x is 3 so k to the exponent f of x times and we said that uh, k to the exponent g of x is 4 k to the exponent g of x 
is 4, right? And then we said 12 is k to the exponent 2 over h of x. So that is what so that is what we are deducing from uh, our basic uh, multiplication. So now, when it comes to algebra, if we are multiplying uh, powers of the same base, we add the exponents. So it's going to be k to the exponent f of x plus g of x is equal to k. 2 over h of x and still we have bases that are the same meaning we have to equate the exponents so now um, f of x plus g of x is equal to 2 over h of x and whenever we want to get rid of the denominator we multiply we use the multiplicative inverse so now i i'll have to multiply both of these by h of x so it's going to be h of x multiplied by f of x and then plus h of x multiplied by g of x it should be equal to and then uh, because it's over one this is going to cancel with this one equal to two so i've just proven that two is equal to h of x multiplied by f of x plus h of x multiplied by g of x and you do get your two marks and which was what is quite puzzling um you needed to use your your extra brain for this one so yeah where are your marks you do get your mark for simplifying until uh the same pace and also equating the exponents so that is your two marks so a very easy 25 marks there uh, i hope uh, you'll join me next time when I, when we are doing the next part of the question paper which is number patterns so we're going to do number patterns this is just a preview of the number patterns that we'll be doing next time so do try them out if you haven't written the paper and oh trigonometry let's not get that far ahead we do number patterns next time which is a very short uh, question um, surely you've benefited a lot and remember maths is, is very simple if you do try your best and it won't be a nightmare to you just make sure you tackle the easy questions and you apply a lot of effort and everything is going to work out for you so for myself um, live long and prosper peace